Ahoy mateys and welcome back to the Adventures in Collecting YouTube channel where we take a closer look at the toys we talk about on the show and today we are taking a look at one of Diamond Select's newest action figures. We are taking a look at Captain Jack Sparrow as he appears in Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales, it's the most recent one, um, though it has been a couple of years already. Um, so we're excited to take a look at this figure. This is one of their new figures in their new packaging, um, their new main packaging that they're, that they're going with, with these Diamond Select Deluxe figures. Um, as you can see in the window there, you can see uh, everybody's favorite uh, pirate based on a Disney attraction. <laughs> Um, and then on the back here, uh, you know, we have more art of the figure, as well as a little description. This figure was designed by uh, Yuri Timing and sculpted by uh, by, by Rocco uh, Tartamella and Gentle Giant Studios. So, um, uh, so just looking at it based on the packaging, love the new design of the packaging, all the logos and everything all over it. Um, the figure looks great. I cannot wait to open him up. So uh, without further ado, let's uh let's board the black pearl let's uh let's let's raise the masts and let's sail off to the light box to take a closer look at captain jack sparrow why is the rum always gone all right so here we are with captain jack sparrow and as you can see here um you know we have him out of the package i swapped out his one hand already but let's go over the accessories uh that come with jack here because there are quite a few and they are super fun so um, the basic ones first, as I mentioned, you get an additional hand here, and we'll get into that hand in just a second, but here is the hand that comes on him um, initially. Great sculpt in there, you can see the rings, all that good stuff. You get the typical Diamond Select base, the plastic base, and then you get a multi-piece, and we're going to pull Jack out here for a second. You get a multi-piece um, uh, ship deck pirate ship deck and i'm going to show you how it comes together here so uh you get the the planks here at the bottom and then you get two side pieces that clip on and i will show you in just a moment what that looks like as i clip those on you get two side pieces here so you can you know have the piece just like that and then lastly you get a really fun front piece so you have a really cool um stand here for for jack uh that looks like a um a ship so really neat and you can see you know he very clearly you know stands on it you know looks looks great um you know looks great with him with a nice backdrop you know digital or otherwise that would be a great way to display him so very cool accessories. That's what they managed to fit inside the box with him, which is really cool. So as I mentioned, though, we want to get into this hand here, this hand situation. So um, I'm going to pop this off. And the hand, as I mentioned, really great detail, looks great. Unfortunately, the sword is stuck. It is, it is glued into his hand. Um, I have not uh, tried to dunk it in some water. I'm going to do that after this review to see if I can get the sword out. Um, but so far, so far I can't get it out. But just to show you, you know, the hands go very easily um, in and out. So, you know, the other hand's back on. And what's neat is, you know, the, the two hands that you get, you get those, the kind of like jack fingers, if you will. Um, so that way you could do kind of his, his normal poses and stuff, which is, which is nice. But let's get into the paint and detail because, boy, there is a lot of it. Um, the work here by, by Yori... Rocco and Gentle Giant Studios is fantastic. Um, the texturing on the coat, the buttons, the folds, the wrinkles, it's all there, you know, into the sleeves, into the the cuffs on his uh on his sleeves, everything. The um there is a uh a, a scabbard, a holster here for his sword. As I mentioned, the sword doesn't come out of his hand, so um, you know, and the, the articulation kind of limits you too, so you're not able to do one of those poses where you have the sword um you know, you, you can, or excuse me, you can do one of those poses where you have the sword in the scabbard and he's kind of drawing it. Um, I've, I noticed that if you put the sword in, uh, in the scabbard first and then put it back in his hand, you can get one of those kind of motions like he's, you know, like he's pulling it out of the scabbard. But unfortunately, the, like I said, the sword 
you know, fits in there really nicely if it were to have come off, or you can have it with a severed hand attached to it. Um, but the detail and, and the paint are great throughout this figure, down to the boots, down to the way, just the way that everything looks, the wraps on his hands, the black fingernails, um, you know, all of the different fabrics and bits and baubles, um, the famed compass is there, uh, sculpted in, the buckle, you know, the, the, even the texture on his actual, like, trousers, um, the trinkets in his hair, uh, his beard, it's all there. And the likeness is close enough to, to Johnny Depp. And I think, honestly, it's one of those things where it's kind of amazing to show you, like, how, what can be done without those 4D prints. Um, you know, it, it looks enough like him. Uh, I've heard some, some some jokes that it looks like an actor at Disney World or Disneyland playing, um, <laughs> playing Jack Sparrow in the parks, you know, a cast member. But, you know, I think overall you know who this figure is. It's not, it's, it's not perfect. You know, there are certain angles where you kind of lose Johnny Depp a little bit, and there are other angles where, you know, where you get him back. Um, but I think overall, this absolutely captures the essence of Johnny Depp and the character. Um, moving into the articulation, we have, uh, we have ball joints at the arms. Um, some of the movement is encumbered by the actual, uh, um, the, the soft outer coat here, but you can move him into all of the ways that you would need um, Jack Sparrow moving into. He does a really great sword pose. You know, again, you pop off that hand, you put the sword hand back in, and, you know, you can get him in various forms of swinging, you know, with the hand, the, the back hand extended, you know, that kind of thing. Um, the head, uh, you know, looks down about that much. Looks up about that much. Again, it is stopped by the, the hair. And you do get a nice little side-to-side -side so you could do, you know, head tilt with him. Um, in the middle, you do have a uh, an upper torso articulation here that's hidden really well. Um, so he can move back a considerable amount. You move him any far farther back than that, and you are going to see the, the internals there. And he can, he can bend forward about that much. As for his legs, we are um, generously given some uh, cuts in the uh, the fabric here, so that way you can really get his legs out. Not that Johnny, not that uh, Jack Sparrow is doing karate kicks, but you know, hey, if that's what you want to do, man. You can you can you can make uh, make Jack do the splits. You know, actually beyond splits, come see me, uh, Johnny Cage, right? Um, and then we do have the upper thigh cut at the bottom, so we do have a, a rotation there. We have the double-jointed knee, um, which is kind of pointless on this figure because he does have the long outer coat. So even with the slit up the back, I mean, there's considerable work that you have to do to really get that, uh, use the most out of that, that, uh, the double-jointed knee. Um, and then we do have, uh, you know, ankle swivel and pivot. So... All in all, I mean, the all of the movements that you would want to see out of this figure, I, I, th I don't think you're going to have a problem getting them. Um, you know, he has a great center of balance. He stands super easily. Like, you don't even have to try. He's just, it's just great in that sense. So let's see, let's compare uh, Captain Jack here to some other figures. Um, so first and foremost, let's compare him to an older iteration here of Johnny Depp. Um... Let's put him next to the Movie Maniacs, uh, Edward Scissorhands. Uh, so Edward's a little bit taller than than uh, than this version here of Johnny Depp, but you know I think all in all it kind of does scale. Um, you know you could argue that the he's wearing boots or something like that. Um, you know, but but I think you know it's 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 almost there. He's he's a in, infinitesimal um, difference off. So there he is next to Edward. Um, here he is next to another. Uh, a pair of Diamond Select figures. Uh, so from the uh, Disney line as well, we have the Rocketeer. And then here he is next to John Wick. Um, Keanu's kind of tall. I don't know what the actual tall... I don't know what, what the height difference is between him and Johnny Depp, but I feel like that's probably a little out of scale. Um, I know Keanu is pretty tall, but yeah. But you can see how the three of them look together. Uh, you know, if you have like a pop culture shelf or a film shelf, however you're doing it, uh, you know, that's... It, what you're looking at um and then uh here he is next to again you know if, if you're doing that pop cultural film shelf maybe he's gonna have 
a a, a duel here with uh with Leo. So um you know that's how the two of them NECA's uh Ninja Turtles. I actually think that looks great. Um I'm all, all of a sudden have ideas for photos. Um but but yeah that's a it's a it's a great combination there and I, I think I think that scales pretty well actually. Um let's pull Leo out uh and let's do one more so uh, here he is next to a McFarlane Toys um, Superman. You know, this is from their, their DC Multiverse line. If he wants to stand, there we go. There we go. Um, here he is next to Superman. Um, again, I think that scale actually works. Remember, Diamond Select, they are more out of that six inch scale and more into the seven inch scale of things. Um, and that being said, here he is next to a six inch scale figure. Here he is next to a Marvel Legends film uh, Wolverine. And he absolutely towers over Hugh Jackman here. Um, well, I wouldn't say absolutely, actually. He's considerably taller here than, than Hugh Jackman, which I th don't think is correct. I think Hugh Jackman's probably the same height as him, if not a little bit taller. But all in all, we have a really cool Captain Jack figure here uh, for your collection uh, from Diamond Select. And with that, let's throw it back to the other view and let's wrap this up. All right, so as you can see, um, this is a solid, solid figure. Uh, great figure from, from, uh, from Diamond Select. Um, the only thing, like I mentioned, the real only real nitpick for me is the fact that the sword is molded into the hand and, and we have that that holster piece. So, I mean, it would be great. And, uh, and, and actually, once I took it out of the light box, I did dunk it in some hot water to try to peel that sword out. And I, I couldn't get it without um, making it look like the whole hand was going to, a whole section of the hand was going to come with it. Um, so I ended up abandoning that. So the, the sword is permanently affixed there. Um, but this is a really great figure. Uh, you know, I, I had one of the McFarlane ones uh, back in the day. Uh, but but this th this this is tops. I mean, this is a great Jack Sparrow figure. Um, you know, as they have done with the rest of the Disney figures, the Tron ones, the the Rocketeer one. This um, some of them have been one offs, and some of them have been part of a little series. So who knows? Maybe uh, maybe we'll get more from the Pirates of the Caribbean uh, franchise. Would love a, a deluxe Davy Jones with the big organ, like they did the deluxe John Wick, or. Um, or even a, a, a Barbosa, like a Will Turner. We've already seen that they've done Legolas, so we know that they they have the likeness rights. Um, so yeah, this is a great figure, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm very happy with it as a as a Disney fan and as a uh, Pirates of the Caribbean fan. I'm happy to add this to my collection. As always, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there, so that way you don't miss videos like this where we take a deep dive into some of the toys we talk about on the show and take pictures and have fun with them. Uh, we also post our podcast here and post our AIC 120, our, our news briefs here on our YouTube channel. So, um, you know, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss those. While you're subscribing to things, make sure you follow us here at AIC underscore podcast on Instagram and Twitter, where we're constantly posting toy news, toy photography, um, and all the fun things that are going on within the toy community. And then as I mentioned, the podcast. So you can find Adventures in Collecting where all podcasts are found um we are now live every week uh with a main episode on one week and then on the alternate weeks we have our our aic 120 our two minute news briefs where we recap the toy news from the week um you can either search for us like i mentioned where all podcasts are found or simply click the links in the description below which will take you to our website and you can find all the good stuff from there stay tuned after the fade for some additional pictures with captain jack here and as always until next time